welcome back to a brand new Andy Fish Tanks build video and today we're going to be scaping this 80 centimeter shallow tank behind me which is going to sit right next to the four foot peninsula Asian fish aquarium. This is my brand new studio, this is going to be the second build, let's jump straight in. Right, so here is some of the wood that I've got over my wood store, and here is some more rocks, <laughs> quite a lot of rocks, but okay, so I want to use basically like this lava rock stuff, I can attach things to it very easy and it interlocks quite nicely, and some of the smaller stuff as well, so I'll take sort of that lot, I guess. And then I need a little bit more wood as well for a bit of detail. There's absolutely tons to choose from. There's loads of different types of wood we've got here. I've, oh, this stuff looks perfect. <laughs> yeah, so this will kind of suit the stuff we've already, look at that. Look at this beastie bit. I'm going to be using this in a setup soon. I'm going to do something called the Tree of Life. That's just going to be cool, but that's coming later. But yeah, I'm going to use this stuff and I'm going to use this stuff to create the new shallow pond. That is the basic sort of structure sorted. I think that looks really cool, kind of impactful, some good angles coming out, but loads of gaps. That, sorry about the reflections, I can't really help that, but loads and loads of gaps you can see in between, you know, the, the base there, look, right in the middle, and just general gaps in between rocks and wood. Now, the way we close that is by using, yay, more of my driveway gravel we've got under here. Just, just normal sort of gravel. <laughs> Then I've got this um, sort of membrane here. It's like a weed membrane. I'm gonna lay that on top of it to make sure that none of the aqua source sort of drips through. And also it'll make a good barrier then for any sort of nutrients from the immersed plants we've got going on the top as well. Got some sticks here as well for some details. And then I've got some bigger flat pieces of rock we can tie some moss to later on. But first of all, let's get all of that gravel there into the back area. Oh, uh -huh into the back area of the scape so right down the back there and that will fill a lot of those gaps up click subscribe I'm back now in the old studio. This is all coming across to the new one soon, but this is all the moss that I want to sort of take out and use. All looking really healthy and lush. I'm gonna take out a whole section. I'm gonna use that to cover those lava rocks you've just seen, and that'll fill in all the gaps in the retaining wall. So 
so I'm back at whoa lightning back at Maidenhead Aquatics last time I was here they had loads of decent like pond plants um, it's a bit later in the season so hopefully they've still got them maybe not whoa you hear that thunder yeah hopefully they've still got loads left maybe we'll be lucky maybe not I don't know So I'm back from the shops now. Here's the pond plants. What we need to do though is actually take them out of all of this soil so we can actually reduce the size of it all so it'll actually fit behind this little area here. So as far as traditional pond plants go, that's as much as I want to do. I want to keep this obviously a contemporary looking pond. And for that, we want to keep the plants quite neat. So we've got our height with those plants there and I can use my other plants from my uh, old, old studio to fill out the rest of the areas. And then it's just a case of wrapping some stones in moss and giving that really tidy look in the foreground on the sand. The simpleness of the scape should make the fish really pop as well. So I'm back at home and I just collected a load of these different plants from previous setups. They're all doing really well. We've got some perfect little Anubius Petite there. Is that Petite? No, that's Petite. There we go, that's Petite. And then we've got some Monte Carlo doing well, some hair grass brand new, some different, different stuff here. We've got a really nice piece of Trident Java fern there. Yeah, we've got lots going on, S repens, but that's not it. So that's gonna be all the stuff that's going underneath the water. For the stuff that's gonna be going above the water, as well as the pond plants we've got, we need to go into my old, old studio. And here we are. So here is the tank in question. Like, look at all of this growth I've got going on here. We've got tons and tons of immersed plants. Sorry about the reflections again. Oh, why did I wear a white top? Uh, stand there, there we go. Look, so there's tons and tons of plants. This is how they're grown sort of when they're at Tropica in like a pool of water that provides nutrients. Obviously it's not still like mine, it'll be flowing water. But look how good that's going. That that uh, Amazon saw is not doing too well, that last back bit, but the rest of the leaves are doing good. We've got some amazing plants down here. We've got uh, pearl weed, Brasiliensis, Cryptocrine, Retala Retonifolia, and some Altonanthon Rechnitna. Yeah, so just gonna take my pick out of these, gonna get some of the taller ones. I know that Rotala Rotundifolia grows really well as a sort of pondy plant, but yeah, these all seem to be doing so great. It's like, just take your pick. It's like a sweet shop, isn't it? Thank you. 
So that's the immerse section complete. I think that looks really fresh. Kind of different from what I usually do because I don't normally plant in pockets like that. I tend to sort of spread it about, but I really like this look. And it suits the contemporary thing that we're going for. But now I need to move into the underwater section, the submerged section, and put the plants in there. I want to keep it really simple, just like we have on the top. A little bit of trident fern, some manubius here and there, and some nice bits of rock wrapped in that moss. And that's it really for these sort of submerged plants. I mean, this one's borderline, this trident fern, that'll have the water sort of halfway up it because the water line's gonna be just about around there. So I don't wanna pack it out. I just wanna keep it nice and simple and keep that contemporary look. If you start putting more than that, I'm gonna spoil it, aren't I? So what I wanna do now is obviously have the moss covered stones for the extra details around the edge. Again though, keeping that crisp line. Right, that's everything in. Let's fill her up. Or fill it up. What? Okay, so that's all going perfectly. Now for filtration, for, 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 <laughs> for filtration, we've got this nifty little filter here, look. It's like a pre-filter, but it works on small tanks as a complete system. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Anyway, take the top off. There we go. We've got this all in here, just simple layers with sponges. And what else I'm gonna do is put in the top some of this Purigen from Seachem, which is really good at making the water crystal clear. And it should stop any of the sort of tannings from the wood leaching into the water and keeping it looking that good. So that is everything done. I'm really, really happy with how it's turned out. A clean look and it's gonna be really easy to maintain as well. It just looks really good. I really wanna stock this one with rice fish, but I don't actually, can't, I can't get any anywhere at the moment. There's none available. I can't even get them shipped to me. I did find one place, but they wanted so much money for them and for the shipping. And I was like, nah, I'm not doing that. They'll turn up eventually, but for the time being, I've got some really nice guppies from one of my setups back in the old studio. It's gonna be moved across here soon. So I thought put them in here and you know, they can enjoy it and keep the filter cycling because I've added special media to the filter, which is already cycled from another filter. So we're all actually ready to go. And I've also got some beneficial bacteria to add in as well. But first of all, let's get those fish in. Hang on, where is it? There it is. Light's back on, and now we can release the guppies. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. They're not aggressive in any sort of way. Oh, by the way, do you like this nifty little pot I've decided to transport them in? Worked a treat in the car. Okay, lift the top off, and away we go, guys. Go, 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 go. As you can see there, look, we've got some little babies as well. <laughs> Cute little things. <laughs> Instantly loving their new environment, look. They look so good. 
As you guys know, I never normally do simple scapes like this and you're all probably thinking, well, that's not gonna last long. So hopefully it does, because I think it looks really good and I'm happy with how it's turned out. <laughs> 